Okay, recording, recording. I need a haircut. I should have shaved. Let's go. Start it up, cause I got a job to do. My day begins at a quarter to the crack of noon, and then soon I'll bring you all sorts of stuff that you never thought I'd have this kind of job at 42. Work where? Well, I don't want to be rude. Drop the name of my job, and I might be sued. But to be fair, I guess it's fair. You a simple name clue, the German word for over, and what you do with food. Anyway, that's to say, the name is weirdly kind of true, but it doesn't matter. Cause... Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this week I am reacting to two kind of weird ones by the stipendium. I am doing Pictures of Spider-Man, the J. Jonah Jameson rap, featuring JT Music, Rustage, and Dan Bull, as well as Stupendium's merchandise rap. And in the middle there, I'm also going to do, because I like Spider-Man a lot, Shmo Yoho's uh, Pizza Time Spider-Man song. Because why not? Let's let's just have more Spider-Man stuff. I'm all for more Spider-Man stuff. I'm a big Spider-Man fan. If you're wondering why I'm doing these, other than the fact that I'm a Spider-Man fan, these were the ones that were voted on in my Patreon poll over at Patreon.com. Do you want me to do the Frostpunk songs, or the Animal Crossing songs, or the songs about Fallout? or any of the other Stupendium songs, then check out the poll at patreon.com slash insaneian. For just a dollar, you're able to help vote on what I react to next, plus that gets your name in the credits at the end. For more than a dollar, you get more things, like the song that you probably heard at the beginning of this video. That was February's Song of the Month. I do a new song every month, and if you like my reactions to comedy music and the way I dissect comedy music, Chances are you might like what I do too, so consider at least subscribing, liking the video, comment, share, all that good stuff. And if you really want to help out the channel, that's what the Patreon's for. But enough of that in the introduction. Let's dive into pictures of Spider-Man. Stupendium dressed as J. Jonah Jameson. I'm here for it. I, 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 yeah. Give me that. I, I, I've even done a, a song about Spider-Man or, or two. I've done, I've done a few. I did a song about Spider-Ham. That's a thing. I did that before even the uh, Into the Spider-Verse movie, because Spider-Ham was in the comics for a long time, and I was a fan of that. But enough about that. I did a Spider-Verse song, too, with Debo Spice. Uh, let's jump into this. Why am I shamelessly plugging today? That's more than usual. All right. Uh, I have to pause on this because there's tiny things that I enjoy. The Stupendium. YouTuber persistently puts too much effort into his intro slates, favoring style over visual consistency. He's not wrong. I love, I always remark on it too, the different versions of the Stupendium logo. What else does it say? City's annual stray webbing cleanup bill reaches six figures. Accurate. Fingerprints on outside of tall glass buildings at all time high. No, he's wearing gloves. He's okay. Usually Spidey won't... Unless he's he's dressed as Parker and is swinging across the city to get to work on time and is not dressed as Spider-Man, because that, that's weird when he web-slings not in costume. Uh, New York's number one source for spider-themed vitriol, the Daily Bugle. That is also accurate. Yes. Yes, I get that we're online, but can you stop calling it the web? It's making me nauseous. <laughs> what? Uh, ads. Are you live? Good. Did you plug the book? No? You're fired! Get up! Now, <laughs> let's educate some people. I, I, I'm guessing, because it's just the facts, that this is from the Spider-Man PS4 game, uh, where uh, Jameson had a very... Infowars-esque podcast. I like that in that universe, he's basically the Alex Jones of the Marvel Universe. The Marvel Game Universe, anyway. <laughs> and I guess almost in the MCU now, since, since they brought uh, J.K. Simmons back. Yeah. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. 
Here on Just the Facts with your friend J. Jonah J. <laughs> this city is at a tipping point. It could go either way. But I'm not one to disappoint. I've got a lot to say about a hero. A man who loves this city like a son. Shooting through the air and looking out for everyone. Bringing hope and light and justice to a city that had none. Dollars to donuts, he's talking about himself. And I know it's coming in the next line. But I... Jonah, you're predictable, uh, even when you're portrayed by Stupendium. Uh, also, loving the voice that he's doing, and yes, clearly it is for the PS4 game. I should have realized that, because he does songs about games, and it wasn't just going to be a Spidey thing, but still. Love that. Love that. Yeah, yes, I'm wearing a Spider-Man shirt, yeah. Admittedly, it's a Miles shirt, but still. <laughs> This name J. Jonah Jameson, you're welcome, let's move on. I knew it. To a menace, a monster, a blight upon our streets. Of course I am referring to that spider, Donnie Freak. Don't let him fool you. No, it's not quiet, it's not peaceful, it's disaster on the brink. So wake up and listen, people! <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't call him Sheeple in that line. It's This is, this is not as fast as I most Stupendium songs, but I guess it's because it's... He's, he's playing this particular personality who's not much of a fast talker either. He spits a lot of vitriol and, and hearsay uh, in his columns. Uh, and as, as Jonah in the, the game version will do for, for the podcast. So I guess he's, you know, he's, he's presenting it like he's hosting an episode of the podcast. I dig that. I dig the presentation. I'm interested to see uh, in the other verses now... Uh, realizing that other people are on this song, who they're all going to play. That's going to be interesting. There's an evil hiding out there. Anyone could be that web slinger. Trust me, I once hired a guy to hike. He was a dead ringer. Is Spider-Man again? <laughs> he needs a rest with no parole. This guy's shenanigans require a little pest control. <laughs> pest control, because he's a spider. That's, uh... I once hired a guy to hike. He was a dead ringer. Hired a guy to hike. Uh, Parker, obviously. Is Spider-Man again? He needs a rest with no parole. This guy's shenanigans require a little pest control. That's all, so tune in again. We got the news and the views on which you can depend. If you see him, you can log in and send in all your pictures. Pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> it's an interesting hook. I dig it. Also... Pictures of Spider-Man could be a song about the Genesis version of the Spider-Man game. Spider-Man on Sega Genesis like had a mechanic where, as Peter, you had or as Spider-Man, you had to take pictures of the villains, and that got you power-ups and stuff. And that was a cool mechanic. I loved I loved that in the Genesis game. I never had a Genesis when I was a kid. I had one in high school later on, and part of the Sega CD thing. And the Sega CD version of Spider-Man took out the photograph mechanic. I don't know why I'm suddenly bringing that up. Pictures of Spider-Man, it reminded me it's about the game, that's why, moving on. I hate to say it, but we can't ignore the failures. Our city's top committees won't investigate his alias. Sure, Fisk is out the picture, but a hundred mile radius of thugs and goons and hooligans will make the public pay for it. Those first couple of verses in this second verse have are, are a little bit more in the stupendium style that I enjoy, which are a lot more internal rhymes in each line. Uh, as opposed to the first verse, or at least that I noticed. Maybe it's happening in the first verse, and I was just kind of like, oh boy, a Spider-Man song, and wasn't really noticing. <laughs> but I, I, I enjoy the internal rhymes in here a little bit more. Also, I wanted to say about the chorus that I didn't say while it was playing, the little animation of Jonah there for the podcast, or tune in again and all that, and the little Spider-Man logo that's popping up is reminiscent of in the game, for PS4, the Spider-Man game, of the, when you go to the pause screen... There's this little animated Spidey, this kind of like chibi Spider-Man, uh, on the like the the Twitter analog that they have in the game, uh, and uh, it's adorable. And like, and all all the pause menus are, are filled with that little chibi version of Spider-Man, and that's the one that's popping up behind Jonah there. So the the similarities between the two 
animation styles for that sequence is great. It's a nice touch. Nice cohesion of the things. Who are we to say that our city should be trusted to the flavor of the day dispensing daredevil justice? The next <laughs> crazy kid crusader out to punish folks for fun? Okay. Next daredevil out to save us. The next caped crusader out to punish folks for fun. This is a reference to Daredevil, Superman, or I technically Batman is the caped crusader. And uh, and punish folks, I'm guessing Punisher, we're going to suddenly have references to other comics here. I see what you're doing, Stupendium. I see. This, this is my wheelhouse. I love video games, but I love comic books too and comic books based on video games and or, or no video games based on comics or movies but all of that yes that's that's my bread and butter and uh i see what you're doing who are we to say that our city should be trusted to the flavor of the day dispensing daredevil justice the next crazy cape crusader out to punish folks for fun it's unthinkable when we've already got a force we funded the fact is <laughs> folks your taxes don't do jack for stopping crime now they're spent to fix the messes that these loonies leave behind full confession yes the scorpion well me is one of mine <laughs> accurate doesn't say it in the game but that is comic accurate but it was all in good intention that he went and undermined! We need an iron fist some discipline to set things Iron fist. Right! A weak slap on the wrist won't keep you safe on Misty Night! Ooh, on Misty Nights. It's a, it's a deep cut. Misty Night is a character in the uh, Defenders series. Uh, was on the uh, Luke Cage show. Uh, is, is, is kind of a Luke Cage character in the comics, but she was on the, on the show. Uh, took over the Defenders. Actually, took over Heroes for Hire. It was Misty Knight and uh, Daughter of the Dragon did Heroes for Hire after Luke Cage and Iron Fist did it. Uh, more recently, it was it was Misty Knight and... and uh, God, I can't think of Daughter of the Dragon's name. She's in the, uh, she's in the Iron Fist show, but they... Uh, in the comics, they had their own Heroes for Hire version. Uh, but yes, Misty Knight, another comic reference. Yeah, okay. This is why I'm going to be pausing is to catching those. That wasn't even a sentence words. Okay. Sign sure every cut for miles. Morales out of sight. And right away I have to do it again. Every cops for miles. Morales out of sight. Miles Morales. Miles. Miles Morales. Miles Morales, Spider Man. Miles Morales. That's a thing. This will be fun to adjust the camera for when I edit this. It's fun. As our forces were to watch while spandex cycles fight the fight. So we ship them off to prison when they level blocks in battle on some package truth for villains plunging public funds for travel. <laughs> Calling the raft, which is a prison for supervillains out in the ocean, a pleasure cruise. That's hilarious. Uh, that's, that's great. I love that. Sure, they may look caged, but the truth is we're just saddled. So I ask you listeners, now we've bought the raft, where's the paddle? <laughs> There's a reference to the raft. So tune in again, we got the news and the views on which you can depend. If you see him, you can log in and send us all your pictures. And all the pictures in the background are in-game pictures of the game. That's great. Super news and screws up more than him, and so maybe you should view him through an alternate lens where you are. Think for yourself. I've seen Spidey protect nice. the city. Last Monday, I got jumped in mud. Trust me, they could have killed me. And there's the little chibi Spider-Man that pops along on these things. The caller is JT Music, another nerdcore artist. Uh, I having them be the callers into the show. Bravo. That's a great. That's a great move. When suddenly this muscular stud in the tightest suit saved me first, gave me my purse, and strung the thugs up by their boots. Well, now that's a lovely story, but did you not deduce that maybe Spider-Man and all those thugs are in cahoots? Wait, did you just say cahoots? <laughs> yes, I did, and it's the truth. Yeah. With that spider on our ceiling, violent crime is through the roof. Next! With the spider on our ceiling, violent crime is through the roof. That's clever. I dig that. That's a, that's a good flip. And here's Rustage. Another nerdcore dude. Uh, hello. Hi, 
Why? Is this the right number of that blathering idiot you spinning belittering heroes and making me wonder? Did you not see that bang? Hi, Spider-Man knocked out his lights. I can't believe you have the nerve to mock those who do what's right. Yes, the bank was already in trouble. <laughs> then the spider shows up with the scuffle. Might have taken the fight outside to the crossing the lobby to rubble. Stopping a robbery or was he just showing off at the cost of the job and the property? Drop all that concrete on top of the robber and still didn't bother to finish him properly. Now we're getting into stipendium flow. Once Rustage came in and did his flow, nicely done. Uh, I dig that a lot. That's that's pretty great. Might have taken the fight outside to the crossing the lobby to rubble. Stopping a robbery or was he just showing off at the cost of the job and the property? Drop all that concrete on top of the robber and still didn't bother to finish him properly. Next! Yeah, hi. I'm trying to find out why you're so wild up half of the time now. Couldn't you present a better argument if you were calm instead of getting farther into a belligerent position in which refusing to listen to listen as different reviews is the thing that you're choosing to do even when they've just proven the truth of your things are Another caller tries to tell me how to do my job. What? <laughs> just cut off Dan completely. Dan Dan Bolt just ranting at him. He just hangs up on him. <laughs> and I holler, it's not out of anger. No, it's out of love for this city, for its people. But if you just think I kicked off, turn over to that hero-loving Hellcat hosting Trish Talk. <sighs> Trish. Trish Talk. Uh, Patty. Trish is short for Patricia. Patty was also... Uh, her name it plays Hellcat in the comics, but she was also originally a Pat Pat Patsy Walker was a character in Marvel Comics before Marvel Comics. Actually, no, not even before. Between when Marvel Comics did superhero comics, they did like they did the old like '40s comics that were just Marvel Comics. That was the name of the book was Marvel Comics, and it had like you know Submariner and Human Torch which was a robot Human Torch, not the Fantastic Four Human Torch. And then when those fell out of favor, they went on and did romance books. And they had a comic called Patsy Walker. And it was like this, you know, comic for girls that was, you know, this, you know, a romance book of her trials and tribulations going through dating and school and all that stuff. And then later on, when they went back to the, you know, what was, you know, the, kind of the big age of Marvel Comics in the 60s with Spider-Man and the X-Men and Fantastic Four and the Hulk and all that and bringing Cat back from the 40s into the Avengers books in the 60s. Uh, they got rid of all the romance books, but they're still owned by Marvel, so they brought Patsy Walker into the Marvel Universe and made her a superhero named Hellcat. And the Jessica Jones TV show has Patty, now Trish, because uh, Patricia... Uh, as a host of a talk show online, also in the Jessica Jones TV show called Trish Talk, he's using a lot of the uh, the Netflix shows references in this. Uh, yeah, nerd breakdowns. Yeah, that just happened. Sorry. <laughs> Spider-Man threat or menace available now. <laughs> I love the explosion in the background. And if you see him, you can log in and send us all your pictures. <laughs> There's a picture of Stupendium in the background holding up a <laughs> Spider-Man thing. <laughs> pictures of Spider-Man. If you're delusional, then you can pretend that a city is a victim of a dangerous it's trend. Jonah's but book. if you've been afflicted, then of course you can send your pictures. <laughs> pictures of Spider-Man. Red. Lethal, that's just fine. You just hung them up in a bundle of twine. Or city's window cleaners find them ten floors up in ten months' time. Plus a few corpses glued to the rules in his YouTube movies get millions of views. <laughs> What's a few corpses glued on the roofs? Yeah, that's the thing. Everybody was like, Spider-Man doesn't kill people, but in the game, like, you can kick people off the roofs and they'll just fall to their doom. Except that if you actually watch them when they go flying, something like he like hits them with like a web thing and it just sticks them to the wall. And, it, you know, so they're not falling all the way to the street. Although it doesn't always work all the time. And it doesn't really happen a lot in the Miles game either. So it's like, yeah, you technically kind of are killing people. They're just, <laughs> right to the wall. <laughs> and his YouTube movie's getting millions of views. I think that's kind of along with uh, the, the side quest for, uh, oh god, what's her name? She's so annoying. Uh, Screwball. The Screwball missions, especially in the DLC of the game are the worst. I mean, she's not a great character anyway, because she's annoying. Um, but she's a YouTube... 
she's a YouTuber who uh, picks fights with Spider-Man specifically for views on YouTube. It's that That's the most YouTube thing ever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she uh, she's a character in the comics and in the game. And man, her missions are just the worst. They're so annoying to play. And I've done them. I've platinumed the game. I'm going to platinum it again in the remaster once I finally get a PS5. Uh, uh, I'm a glutton for punishment. It, it just happens. Who's that the hoodlum puts on a match just proves that he's not paying tax on the air revenue? The fact is the impact of this down directly can be tracked back to the day that he landed. From the mask of the bad guy's adaptive and that he's a madman he manufactured. Oh, that's a good verse. Hoodlum puts on a match just proves that he's not paying tax on the air revenue. The fact is the impact of this down directly can be tracked back to the day that he landed. From the mask of the bad guy's adaptive and that he's a madman he manufactured. That's gotta be like the best verse in this whole song so far. Um... It started off really slow, and then it kind of morphed into more stupendium-ishness. It's a word. Now. Hack is the last thing that we need. Now send him sound a Nazi, Nazi bees, bees lizard. <laughs> Nazi bees. Just, just bring swarm out of nowhere. He's not in the game. He's uh, the worst reference. Yes, it was a not. The bees aren't Nazis. The man made of bees is a Nazi. So I guess that technically makes the bees Nazis. But he was a Nazi before he was bees. Swarm, it's a character in the comics. That is just... it. It's a man made of bees. Yes, that's a... <sighs> comics are weird, man. The impact of this down to can be tracked back to the day that they landed. From the mask of the bad guys adaptive and entities a madman he manufactures. Hack is the last thing that we need. Now send him sound and nasty bees. Lizards, wizards, can we see the spiders like the jam to seize? Call me traditional. I do things by the book. But if you like the truth, my friend, well, you can buy the book. While I'm shook and sides were took, yet some would love them off the hook. I guess I shouldn't be surprised if sheep will fall off crooks. You're left with vigilantes when you let crime get away. So when will Spider-Man see that the freaks have had their day? If it were up to me, folks, if I truly had my way, I'd simply snap my fingers and they'd all just go away. And there's your Infinity War reference. You, you still here? Good. You rehired. Get me a coffee and then fire yourself again. <laughs> Amateurs. Hmm. Get Joe Jameson here. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Just the Facts. And of course, thank you to one of our callers as well. If you enjoyed the show, then why not check out the playlist of the other episodes? And of course, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video, and leave me a comment telling me how much Spider-Man has ruined your life. I love that he's doing it in character. I wish he had a mic in that version. <laughs> but that's that's a great touch to do all of that in character. You can always check out the store. I'm afraid we are out of copies of my best-selling expose. But we do have a surplus I'd of t-shirts and mugs with some weird sideburn guy. You! You're fired! <laughs> it's carrying it in stupendium mug. All right. <laughs> That was quality. And now uh, we move on to Pizza Time, the songified version of Spider-Man uh, by Shmo Yoho, a.k.a. the Gregory Brothers, a.k.a. Songify This. Yeah, here's an artist that has three different names. Anyway. With great power comes great pizza time. What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? Pizza time. Listen, there's more for me to say. Pizza time. They morphed his face on to each shot. That's horrifying and amazing. If Beethoven sleep before he wrote the fifth. For those of you who don't know Songify or Shmo Yoho or the Gregory Brothers, whatever you happen to know them by or not know them by, they auto-tune clips from anything. News reports, movies, uh, any, uh, the presidential debate. They songified the presidential debate recently and Weird Al sang the chorus. Uh, yeah, they, they songify many things. 
and uh, that's just adding auto-tune to it, putting a music beat behind it, and turning it into a song. And they've done it with Spider-Man 2. Uh, I, I, I've been wanting to watch and react to this for a while, and pairing it with Stupendium Spider-Man song seemed like the easiest way to do it. Did Edison sleep before he turned on the light? <laughs> Did Marconi sleep before he turned on the radio? <laughs> Did Bernoulli sleep before he found the curves? Pizza time. I love this boy. Pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. Morphing that onto each face, though, is the most disturbing thing I've seen today. I mean, the day is young, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not an empty sheet. Punch me, I bleed. That's the meaning of poetry. Whatever that means. There was something I thought I had to do. I don't have to. Day by day, I let things get in the way. You think just because you saw my play? You don't understand. I shine my shoes, press my pants, want to get some chow mein. I may be rushed into things. <laughs> One day later, I may be rushed into things. <laughs> yeah, it's like that in the movie. Wow. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you saying? Please <laughs> Please I like how it's just turning every moment, every climactic emotional moment in the movie into pizza time because of that one scene. It's, oh, that's so funny. Like in the movie, yeah, he's like saying, hey, I want to have a relationship with you. I'm not just an empty seat. The next day, maybe, maybe I, I still do have to do the thing I said I didn't have to do. And then Doc Ock throws a car at him because he might be connected to Spider-Man. Did he think Peter Parker was going to jump out of the way of the car? He tried to kill him and he was trying to capture him. Rather than kill him, why would you throw a car at him? These are issues that I should be discussing at another time. This video is already almost a half an hour, and I have another song to get through other than this one. I'm sorry. I ramble. I have a song about it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. You made a brave move in telling me the truth, and I'm proud of you. Peter, I'm proud of you. Everybody loves a hero. People scream their names, and years later they'll tell how they stood in the rain to get a glimpse of the one who had taught him to hold on. Hold on to the Henry pizza. wonders where item has gone. But I want a life with great power comes great peace. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Oh, they had to throw in three more. Oh, the dancing is great. It's the worst. <laughs> I don't even got her mouth to make it look like that. <laughs> Song of Five, this! Thanks so much oh, to Audible that's so good. for sponsoring this pizza contest. If you Bobo. use our magic code, audible.com We are going to skip the Audible Prime members commercial. Can get audible for four ninety five. Uh, because they didn't pay for it in this video. Uh, if, if Audible wants to sponsor these videos, I will happily do an ad read, but that's... I'm not going to play, play somebody else's ad read in this. That's not... I'm... no. Moving on to the next video. That was great. I loved that. That was a bop, too, so... Playing those songs back-to-back... -back, just... Oh, it works on so many weird levels that just make it it releases the euphoria in the brain the I can't think of the word so I'm going to move on I've gone dumb from the brain melty word things here's the button merchandise wrap welcome to the stupendium home shopping network your one stop shop <laughs> All right, I have to say one thing. That little music that's there at the beginning, uh, that is the music that Outside Xbox and Outside Extra also use. It is some royalty-free music 
and they use that on their channel all the time. <laughs> Every day I imagine a future where I could look this good. <laughs> Why did I say okie dokie okay, fashion okay, ensemble? This stylish ensemble. <laughs> Don't just leave them hanging, come boy. Up. Go directly to fabulous. Make every night game <laughs> the night chairman with this Chuck Blazer and Strip Combo. Hey, ho, you won't need shelter from the storm in this I'm guessing his Frostpunk thing. Oh, yes. Whiskey business. Would you like to buy my merchandise? It's rather nice. It arranges sizes for a decent price. It's my merchandise. It's rather nice. So improve your life for the low, low price of my worth. Well, the channel's been accelerating lately with hundreds of you subbing on the daily. I couldn't be more grateful. It's honestly amazing. And a whole bunch of you have asked me to create these rather tasteful face tees. I dig the rhymes in this. It's good. I mean, like, it's Dupendium, so I should have expected the flow to be decent, but yeah, I'm, I'm on board for the merchandise rap. Consumerism. Yes, go. Lately, with hundreds of you subbing on the daily, I couldn't be more grateful. It's honestly amazing. And a whole bunch of you have asked me to create these rather tasteful face tees. It's kind of crazy to think you'd like my stuff enough that you would pay me to help support all of the content I'm creating. So let's explore the catalogue of products I'm curating. Let's start with the simplest tee. It's a classic, pure simplicity. Turn it around and on the back. It's also emergency. It's a staple of any merch store, and I've researched four. But not exactly what I- <laughs> Random Dan Bull, same merch. <laughs> Start with the simplest T. It's a classic, pure simplicity. Turn it around and on the back, it's also printed C. It's a staple of any merch store, and I've researched four. But not exactly <laughs> what I'd wear when Nan would visit me. Oh no, you'll want something formal, something subtle. I wonder if that was actually his Nan. Uh, that's great. <laughs> <sighs> One day I'll have merch, other than my albums, which are available on insanian.bandcamp.com. Oh, whoops, I plugged that. If I get to 10,000 subs, I can have shirts and posters and stuff advertised uh, underneath the, the YouTube video. Hint. Hint. I'm at 6,000 subs now, so thank you all very much for that. Like a polo, a fancy shirt without the fuzzy cuff stuff. And you'll see that we've employed some pretty neat embroideries. Or if your nan is visiting the needlework nice. spanner. Or perhaps you want some merch that shows the logo more than polos will. <laughs> well, meet the shirt I call all over overkill. Near 200 faces on, and I should know I've placed them on. If you want dedication, then here's the one that fits the bad on it. Dedication. Pronouncing it that way to have it rhyme with the other on and... Good stuff. It's rather nice in a range of sizes for a decent price. It's my merchandise. It's rather nice, so improve your life for the low, low price. But there's more left to see. No, don't forget accessories, so don't go yet, because I bet you'll be impressed with these. It seems a mug's another tube of merchandise necessity, but black mugs weren't an option, so I opted for this emblem, see? To cap it off with hats, of course, to slap upon your noggin, need a snap back for your hat rack, or perhaps the one I'm stocking. I was honestly ecstatic that they manufactured orange and there's a logo on the back, so you have a stack of jaunty options. See Whew. For a, for a song about honestly shilling his own merch, this is so quality. This has no business being this good. Just to talk about your shirts and hats and mugs. Wow. Wow. And, and honestly, I assume it worked. <laughs> because this was... This was a, a, a bit of time ago, and uh, I'm sure his merch sales are doing well because of this. It was good. Initially, I wasn't even gonna do a bean, but then everybody told me they would rather have a bean. But instead of going back upon the cap, I just completed, I just went and did it a bean as well. Would you like to buy? I like the uh, the harmonizing behind the rap on that verse too. That was really good. And yes. It's lucky that everything was in orange, because that is the stupendium colors. Uh, I know two comedy musicians who who exclusively work in orange. It's the stupendium and my buddy, the great Luke Ski. Uh, if you're not familiar with the great Luke Ski, he is the number one most requested artist on the Dr. Demento show for the 20th century, or 21st century, one of the two. I forget which. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's one of the most requested artists in of all time on that show 
uh, the Dr. Demento show is, of course, the radio show where we got Weird Al Yankovic from, where Al got his start was on that show, and uh, Luke Ski has also been played on that show a bunch, uh, as have I, and uh, he's, he's a good friend of mine and loves the orange. Orange is, it was, is his favorite color and uses that in a lot of his, in his logos and advertising as well. Um, so two comedy artists that I know of that use orange and they should be appearing in the same music video soon. Ooh, I wonder what I mean by that. I'm a merchandise. Oh, nice. Every, Every second, second is no selling. A person dies. I'm a merchandise. <laughs> it's rather nice. So save a life for the low, low prize of my merch. I hear you type and grab a stoop to just to sell out. Well, these are made to order, so they ought to never sell out. Making nice. videos can be expensive. Get the hell out. Spent a hundred quid on boxes just to flesh this flipping set out. <laughs> I don't doubt that. <laughs> That's the thing. You always have to admire, even like with with this merchandise rap uh, song, the video quality, the presentation behind it is still up to the same quality of his other videos, and it's because he has, has the ability to put the time and money into it. Uh, I'm on Stupendium's Patreon. I see how much he makes uh, a month on that. You can see it too. If you just go to his Patreon, you'll see he's making however much a month via Patreon, and that's incredible to me uh and obviously that's how he funds a lot of these videos and that's what i'm trying to do with my patreon is fund more videos i'd like to have my videos reach the same quality as this um i'm trying it's hard to do on the limited budget that i have currently but uh just just even for this presentation to be this high quality is what you get with stupendium stuff this is it's par for the course at this point. Uh, uh, just, just quality, quality presentation to elevate the song. And that's always the important part of the videos. It's what I stress the most in these reactions. All of one thing, but they're really comfy. And if you buy enough, then maybe I can buy a Humvee. Maybe they can fund me to see another country. But watch it's at a home, know that you'll be looking lovely. Yeah. Stupendium undies, socks and crocs and dungarees. Can't be plush toys, some umbrellas and a onesie. <laughs> Though in honesty, the profits aren't much. These might help me make my vids a little more than monthly. I want to thank you all for all of the support. It's awesome pouring out on every morsel I've recorded. But if we hit December and nobody went to bought it at least my family members have their christmas presents sorted Which... <laughs> oh oh the struggles of an artist boy do i know that hey i didn't make a whole lot of money this year uh selling my merchandise or my albums uh but you guys since you're my family guess what you get uh in saint ian's greatest hit cd in your stocking this year <laughs> yeah it's a thing i've totally done uh, admittedly, my sister actually asks for it, so I, gi I give my sister my albums for Christmas sometimes, because she she likes them and wants them, which is nice to say. Would you like to buy my merchandise? Uh, it's not really something I can see myself buying. Well, okay, I'm sorry. Would you like to buy my merchandise? This is the best merch I've ever bought. 17. No <laughs> I love stupendium merchandise, and that is my genuine opinion. So come on! I enjoy the, uh, <laughs> the, the computer voice voicing over what she was actually saying. And then there's Dan Bull, because we had him wearing Dan's merch. Uh, I believe Dan is endorsing it under protest, according to this place where I freeze-framed. <laughs> I wholeheartedly endorse this product and all products. Click the link to buy my merchandise. <laughs> Electric grills, plush sideburns, you know you body want to pillows, buy my merchandise. Scrabopoly. You <laughs> someone buy my merchandise? Bravo. Bravo. Oh, if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. <laughs> it's a slant rhyme, but it's still works. Oh, buy my merch. <laughs> no, no pressure there, seriously. Oh, that was almost... Welcome to the Stupendium Home Shopping Network. It started over again, sorry. Anyway, I was trying to catch it at the very end frame, and I hit it and restarted. That's the way stuff happens. Anyway, 
uh, that was three songs this week. That is why this video is almost over 40 minutes. Um, anyway, uh, hopefully you've stuck around through all of that. Hope you enjoy these videos. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Stick through uh, the credits to see all the lovely people who get to support me. I'm thankful for all of them. And thankful for you all for watching and getting me over 6,000 subscribers. That was nice. Uh, that happened a couple days ago. Uh, very neat. Uh, I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching my content, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Insanian.bandcamp.com Just saying. Hi, I'm Pete. It's sure nice to meet you. I fight super villains when I'm not eating pizza. I'm just like that last guy, though my hair is much darker. My driver's license says my name is Peter B. Parker. Those starker in contrast. We're really quite alike. My gut's a little larger, but of the two, well, I'm alive. But if a girl gets kidnapped, then she turns out of it. Well, I'm another friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Thought I was alone. Not just because MJ left.